right, everybody, welcome to another Classic Gamers HQ Let's Play. We've got Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. Just finished up Max Payne 1, and we're going to begin with the sequel to that wonderful game that we've played through. It was a roller coaster, and it's time to add a little sex, a little extra suspense, and a whole lot of extra sex, because uh, I remember the scenes in this are a little, uh, a little graphic. Let's see what happened previously on Max Payne for those who haven't watched my previous CGHQ playthrough. I am Max Payne. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drug V. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA, went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst of winter storm of the century. My first stop was Vinny Gagnetti, a lowlife in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, her sister's sadistic husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Wood promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Bravora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. Gunshots made me deaf to the sirens, but they couldn't drown the sobs of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones were still dead. It wasn't over. is far from over boys and girls so this release was two years after Max Payne 1 was released Max Payne 1 was in 01 this was released October 2003 by Rockstar Games a uh, wonderful company that's produced many wonderful games over the years let's go ahead and get started here with the new game of course just like the first one everything's grayed out except detective mode so we have no choice but to start with that. Now, Rockstar Games, you're familiar with Grand Theft Auto series. I'm going to quiet down for just a second. Let's get this one. <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest ready to blow your head off. The hospital. Earlier that We're night. losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large bore IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. Oh, but it I can. I opened my eyes and everything slid into focus. She was dead. 
I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the route's clear. Allow me to present Max Hayden. Come on. We're here. Max, deals with all my friends. Hayden? You need to get out of here in the morning. We need to leave now. One, one. Sorry, I Run! Run! I'm trying to recall whether or not Max Payne 2 had nightmare sequences like part one. Those made it fairly interesting. Okay. So one of the main goals in this Max Payne series is to find you some narcotics and fucking stay fucked up all the time. There's an excuse to be a drug. see throughout the entire, well, most of the game. There was a blind spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. If you say so. Get more pills. Products, the better. You know, after the last, the last round of shit he went through, you know, Max is just down for anything. This is the pain residence. Dr. Magdalena from ER, you can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. Open sesame. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! Holy shit. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell? Oh, there we go. So now I gotta do a combination of the right click and the space bar. Wee. Wee. Nothing. Hmm. Your men have caught me. They're black. 
flying band to me out of the city. The countryside was sickening and pretty, the sun setting on a sweet summer day, rain sparkling on grass, birds in the trees, children playing. Ah, the pink bird no, mental the fucking pink flamingo from the first game. <laughs> Mira's men pretended it's to bad. be hospital wardens. The flesh. The flesh. I think I died. I think I'm dead. I don't know. I don't know. Death is he coming. It's coming. They're here. They're here. Get away. Get away. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna <laughs> hurt you. <laughs> they said I was an escaped mental patient. Diagnosis. Paranoid schizophrenic. Okay, come back to that. You are insane. Psychotic. Let me in. You have to eat plenty of pills to get better. John Mira came to mock me in the bathroom mirror. The heart. The flamingo. Locked. There's only one way. I guess that's up in the elevator. Stay tuned as address unknown continues. Pink flamingo, my ass. Where to? You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. No! That's my buddy. He's a whiny bastard. He's a buddy. Bullshit! circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from only the holes grown deeper Tried to run from it, edited out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. <laughs> 